Let's say you want to use AI to make an anime movie or any other kind of movie, but we're going to do anime today. And you want to use AI to do everything, script, images, video, music, voiceover, sound effects. The final will look something like this, only it won't be me talking. We'll be using Full Journey. Full Journey uses Discord, just like Mid Journey and a lot of other AI tools. We can add the bot to our own private server and then create a channel just for this anime movie. To generate things, we use commands that start with a slash. You can see there are a lot of them. If you want to see all the commands, type help. All right, let's start with the script. One of the coolest things about Full Journey is that you get model choice. That means we can choose which chatbot we want, GPT-4 or Claude. Let's have them both take a stab at the script. So we used one prompt and now two different large language models are writing a script for us and we get to pick the one we like better. All right, I like the GPT-4 one better. I'm gonna ask GPT-4 to write the image prompt for me because this is a tutorial and I'm lazy. All right, images. We're gonna take the first prompt and use the make command, which is how we create images. If we want a landscape image, we type dash wide. If we want a portrait mode image, we type dash tall. And we get model choice for images too. So we can choose between Kandinsky, Juggernaut, Playground, Counterfeit, Dream Shaper, Proteus. Once you get the images, you can click this button to make more options similar to that one. You can turn it into a video or you can upscale the image. Since all of this is unlimited, I decided to test out a few videos. The portrait mode ones just sort of pan back and forth. So I'm gonna go with landscape for this. GPT gave me some prompts, but I'm gonna simplify them. All right, this one is pretty good, but look at the brush. It's a little off. Full Journey has an in-painting tool at studio.fulljourney.ai. I'll add my image, paint the area I want to change, and add a prompt. And it in-paints the area so I can take that image, bring it back to Discord, and use the I2V, or image to video command, to animate it. In-painting isn't just for fixing mistakes. If we decide we want to have more wildflowers or something like that, we can use in-painting for that as well. All right, video, there are four ways we can create videos. One is creating an image and clicking the popcorn icon. The second is using the image to video command and uploading an image, maybe from another image generator or one that we've in-painted. The third way is using the video command, which creates a short video based on the prompt. And there's also a V1, V2, V3, and Sharp that you can add to the end of those and try different video models out as well. And the fourth way is using the movie command, which gives us a longer movie and there's more shots to choose from. Okay, let's make the characters talk. We need two things, an image and an audio file. So to see the list of available voices, type slash voice list, then use the speech command, type what you want the character to say, and then add a dash and the character name. All right, that gives us this audio file that we can download. Then we use the lip sync command and upload our image and our audio. Mother, how do the flowers know when it's time to bloom? All right, now one thing to be aware of is that most lip sync services are trained on human faces, and so your anime characters may need to have recognizable facial features. You can add things to the prompt or use the in-painting tool if you're getting these rejection messages. Okay, let's add some music. We can ask GPT-4 for some help, or we can just type in keywords for the vibes we're going for. If we add this dash long option, we'll get a longer song. Sometimes the shorter ones work better in my experience. Let's add a final touch, just some sound effects. We'll use the sound command. Um, how about some birds chirping? So remember at the beginning when I set up a channel for this project, look at all of the different types of content I've generated. Images, videos, music, talking, scripts. Everything is there in one place. Easy to manage, easy to separate projects from each other. So I'm gonna download all of this and edit it in CapCut. Um, I'm sure you can do a much better one, but here's the one we made today. And don't forget to subscribe if you like tutorials like this. Mother, how do the flowers know when it's time to bloom? They always choose the perfect day. The earth whispers its secrets to them, my dear. Just like I whisper, I love you to wake you each morning. One day the boy would remember this, as the moment he realized all things share a silent language, blooming not just in meadows, but in the hearts of those who take time to listen.